What's up everybody, welcome back to another video here at Wall Street PR. In today's video, I'm gonna be going over a company known as Marketing Worldwide Corporation. Their ticker symbol is MWWC and they're currently trading at 0.003 cents per share. There is a lot of movement and activity over here as you guys can see on this chart these past few months, but at the moment they have been kind of consolidating a little bit lower in this range between 0.002 and 0.003 cents per share. They are starting to curl back upwards and I do think we could see another move back up to the upside in the coming weeks and months to come. But as always, before I go over the chart and give my price analysis and prediction, I do want to give a brief overview and background of the company about what they do and talk about some of the recent catalysts that are coming up and have come out regarding marketing worldwide corporation. So over here on barons.com, uh, just to give you guys a little background on the company, you can see their technology acquisition incubator. The firm intends to expand as an acquisition incubator, purchasing companies and patents built by passionate visionaries. And the company was founded by Michael Winzowski and James C. Marvin in 1999 and is headquartered in Sugar Land in Texas. Um, if we take a look at some of the recent news, this is coming out from topnewsguide.com uh, slash market screener. You can see uh, this is titled Marketing Worldwide Ops for Stock Buyback and NAAS uh, Investment. And this did come out on March 7th of 2022. So a few weeks ago, uh, you can see in a strategic pivot aimed at rewarding investors, Marketing Worldwide will expand its stock buyback program rather than initiate a stock split later this year. Obviously, just that first sentence right there is fantastic news. Stock buybacks always cause investors to pour back in or to pour more money back into that stock because that shows that the, the management team is listening to the investors and that they do have, have faith in their own company and in their investor group. You can also see the plan comes as investors balked at the idea of a 10 to 1 stock split which was announced on February 17th. As part of the stock buyback, MWWC will in part use the MNS token to purchase its own stock on the open market and bring it back under the firm's control. In addition, MWWC will invest in nodes as a service to create passive income and create additional value for stockholders. Quickly, another fantastic thing to note right there. And then you can see the CEO expects strong growth from the buyback. The buyback move comes along with news that MWWC will expand its MNS Minosis feature buyback program and break into the nodes as a service NAAS space, a passive income investment. And according to the CEO, Jason Schlink, the comp a combination of these two factors will allow the firm to rapidly increase its stock buyback power. We also expect the MNS this token will evolve into a usable currency on some other platforms we are currently testing, which could equate to expanding acquisitions and other product incubation in the near term. Uh, obviously, that all is pretty good news as well. You can also see that Marketing Worldwide hopes to create a permanent place in the NAS uh, market by investing in is investing in PowerNode and ThorNodes, both firms who are powerhouses in the NAAS segment. Another an important piece of the blockchain architecture, nodes within the blockchain are the connection point between information senders and recipients, for those of you who did not know. So obviously this is great news. They are looking to bring in some passive income uh, and more value to their stockholders, which is, I mean, that's exactly what you want to hear as an investor or a prospective investor in a company. So if we close things out back over here on the chart. That's the only really recent news uh, regarding the company that I did find. Their revenues are increasing pretty well and their management team does have some pretty strong history and backing. So I am a potential investor in this company, especially at this lower price of 0 0.03 cents per share. You can see uh, they did, like I said, at the start of this video, have these big spikes where they would shoot all the way up all the way up to one penny right here and about two cents per share back on 706 of 2021. Huge spikes followed by huge dips. You see it is kind of a pattern uh, as indicating on this chart. You can see they did kind of pull back with the entire stock market though as a whole as of late. If I go ahead and zoom in on just this current section, you can see they pulled back down, hit a low of 0 0.0028 before bouncing back up and beginning a potential uptrend right here at the moment up to 0.034 cents per share. Something I do want to note guys is down here, you can see on this MACD indicator on the move my cursor, that part where the orange line crosses back upwards against this blue line is a shift in momentum back from the sellers over to the buyers. You can see it also indicated by this red and green color in the background as well. That's a great sign for reversal. And I do think that's what we're seeing here is the start of a reversal. You can also see the same thing indicated on this relative strength index or the RSI indicator. You can see a jump all the way back up to about 49, which means it's relatively neutral. The stock is looking to make a further move back up, and we do have some steady, consistent volume coming in as well, which does lead me to believe that this will be an extended move in the next few weeks as well. 
Personally, guys, if I'm going to give a price target for MWWC, it's going to be a move like this. I don't think it's going to be a shoot up, a shot straight up move like they saw in the past. I think it's going to be a longer, drawn out move, something similar to this. If we zoom out, you guys can get a better picture and understanding. I think this is the price target right here at 0.072 cents per share. You can see they, they do have multiple touch points off of this level in the past. And this is an area that they struggled to break above in the past as well. I think if they break up to this level with some strong volume and momentum, they could see a further break above it to the upside. So I'm going to go ahead and actually draw in this horizontal line of resistance right here. You can see that's the level I'm talking about that they have had trouble breaking. I do think they could eventually break above this level and see a further extended move back up something like that back up to one cent per share i think this would take much more time and volume as well but nonetheless i do think they have a positive and bullish future uh, for the next few months and years to come but with that said guys be sure to do your own research before investing only invest what you can afford to lose and with that said guys thank you guys so much for watching if you're new here please do subscribe to my channel and i will see you all in the next one